management are not happy with how our team has performed uh, recently. We are not. Just like them, we are, we are not happy about how our team has performed. For the investment that we are making, for the time that we are committing, we aim for nothing but victory in every match. That is the objective. When the last time we met and I had to define to you our vision, we talk of a football club that attains preeminence across all of Africa. And so we've been trying to look at the building blocks that will enable us to win and win consistently and attain the preeminence that we have always uh, aimed for, which is also what all our fans want anyway. So certainly we're not happy about our oh, performance. Then I've seen us draw as many as nine matches in the ongoing league, winning only three and then uh, losing as many as, uh, as four. And I'm sure all of you as well followers will believe that this was not the expectation even among our rivals as far as this is concerned. Because at the end of the season we thought that we had assembled you know, the best team. And of course our performance in, in the preseason gave everybody that hope that us was going to be all conquering during uh, the season. But it has not happened. Not because we did not do what we had to do. But football being what it is, full of uncertainty, surprise, and etc. So we are obviously not happy. Let me find that, find that nobody can profess to love a crowd of food more than those of us sitting here. We all just love it. We all just love it so much. And we all desire the best for our club. So it's most unfortunate that despite all of what we have done to prepare for this, you know, um, season, ensuring that we had all of our players at Obiman where they could just walk from their bedrooms onto the pitch. Unlike previously, when the bars had to leave about five hours before the start of uh, training and three to pick player after player. So the first player that is picked since the bus from a five hours went to the training pitch. And the reverse journey happens after training. Today, because they live right by the training pitches, they can even train almost at any time. And many of them try and we guide them to have training in the morning, afternoon, and etc. So the expectation has been that has to will be very all concrete, you know, in a better position than it's ever been over the years in terms of everything, players, things, facilities and etc. But it has not happened. And so we are also not very happy. But as I said, um, we, 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 we are very optimistic that we will achieve a turnaround. Now, optimism derives from the following. We all have seen how the team has been playing. It's not a case that they're not playing well. They play well, their goals have failed to come. We have seen our players miss begging chances. Some of, some of which we non footballers even think we could, we could score. We saw in the nation's match when a player could not get a point to yawning it. We've seen all of those things. Can we blame management for this? Can we blame Bob for this? Can we blame Akambi or Nabu or Dr. Nyawatomekulo or me for this? No. We saw good play and we saw chances missed at the end. We saw it not only during the Nations match, we saw it in previous matches, Chelsea, Kotoko, and etc. But the good news is that we are witnesses to an improvement in play. We saw better coordination between goalkeepers or goalkeeper and defense. 
between defense and midfield and attack. We've seen it. And that for us gives us a lot of a lot of hope. We play well, that's the important thing. And give a dream to believe that the goals will come. Because we are not sitting on our laurels of improvement of play, no. We have more optimism for the fact that we take advantage of the opening of the window to strengthen our team. So we realize that within days of the opening of the second window, we're going to, you know, reinforce, bring some reinforcement. And of course, those players are bringing out players that have been carefully selected, having seen the deficiency in our team, in particular, our inability to score goals. So we believe that we are achieve a turnaround much sooner than later. So we are extremely optimistic because we have seen evidence game is improving. We've also seen that uh, um, the new players that we brought in are actually bringing in what has been missing. And it's been obvious from the uh, training that we've had, trial match that has been played since uh, our match with uh, Nations. That is why we will continue to do what we have to do. Ensure that the uh, has stays on course. As I said before, and I want to repeat, in presence of our desire for preeminence, we are continuously looking at our play body, trying to strengthen our team, and that we we'll continue to do. We've seen solid, solid, solid in defense, for example, solid in defense. We've seen that in midfield. We see that we are lacking in the attacking part of our game, which is why that's where the focus is in our recent recruitment during the second uh, window. And we'll continue to try, okay, not only for the senior team, but also build the junior teams that will feed the senior team. And those of you have been following our RAS, we are aware of how RAS is doing very well, how RAS is doing in, in, in the second division league, okay. And we expect that it would uh, help feed the senior team as it's been doing. We also are working hard to ensure that our juvenile side is also, you know, up and doing. And of course, you have seen a lot of effort that we put also in our female team. So we, we have we are maintaining the four teams, you know, with all the seriousness that uh, uh, is required. So if our playing body will advance so much, we are also continuously looking. At management, don't don't be deceived. We're looking serious at our management, and the search for a CEO is it continuing? But we want the best for us of one who can come and truly deliver, not come and look for the board to go look for money. No, we don't want that. We've received a number of CVs. The saddest part has been that the few who look like qualified for the jobs, most of them come conflicted because they own their own uh, agencies. We don't want that kind of uh, 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 conflict in the manual class of work. That will not occur well. You bring a, a manager who owns an agency. Many of you know what they can, they can produce. A manager who owns maybe a, a team. So we, the search is still on for the strengthening of our management. But I can tell you that the current management is doing everything that it can. And we don't see too much that is missing in all sincerity. And as I said, we see from the recruitment that we did, we see from the improvement of our game, what has been missing, which is the only thing people can complain, for the goals are not coming. So again, we'll continue to strengthen our playing, uh, our team, strengthen management. The technical side, all of the teams, from us, ours, Royal Oaks, and the Oaks, all have their separate, you know, technical teams who are putting a lot of effort and get out to acknowledge the success that we are seeing at Auras and of course as we are seeing with the Oaks, that's a female team. Okay. Again, what is missing has been the delivery of goals at a senior level, but that we expect will come. And, and let me say that we are very happy about the 
efforts that our young coaches, Tijani and Inouye, are putting in. You know, in CIT, we monitor them very closely. And we have had experience working with the older coaches, both local and foreign. So we have basis for comparison. And we've seen that Kutijani and Ninoe are really working very hard. And of course, again, the evidence is seen in the improvement in our play. And when goals are lacking, just as they've been lacking mm -hmm. when uh, Mr. Kupman was there, but I know that they are working really hard, scoring drills, shooting, and etc., to overcome uh, our weakness in the scoring of goals. You know, so it's, it's our intention to give them the opportunity. You know, while we still are looking for ways of improving and strengthening our technical uh, team.